So b actually, before we get the show on the road, um, I just want to say something a little bit more specific, and I want to say some specific names. The staff of the Crossroads Fund is unbelievably hardworking, and I want to just say their names, Christina, uh, Emmanuel, uh, Jane, Katie, Emily, Teresa, who helped us with the event this year, John, and Inbal, our brand new um, Lisa Fitco intern, who, who's responsible for many of the visuals tonight. So let's give a round of applause to everybody who worked on this. Um, so, okay, a year ago, when I stood up here on this stage at the Seeds of Change, did any of you think back then? Let's see a, let's see a show of hands. Did any of you think back then that Donald Trump would become the President of the United States? Yeah. Probably not many. I don't see any hands being raised, although Bill Barkley told me he thought that might happen. Um, yet here we are. Here we are. And in many ways, we shouldn't be surprised at all. There is nothing new about ra racism, white supremacy, misogyny, and xenophobia prevailing in the United States. I know we had all hoped that we were on a different path. But the underpinnings of a country built on only a promise is a tough nut to crack. But crack it we have in the past, and crack it we will again. And as many of us have done before, the abolition of slavery, women's right to vote, the 40-hour none of these things without a struggle, without many years of resistance, and discipline and fight. And the blowback from the ongoing white supremacist, misogynist, xenophobic factions of the ruling class is ongoing and palpable. Continued attacks on black communities and on the bodies of women and trans people, attempts to outlaw Muslims from our country. The good news is that more people than ever seem to be enraged and engaged in ways that we haven't seen for many, many years. The women's marches, the indivisibles actions, the disruptive town hall meetings, all of these daily occurrences show a seemingly new, energized and mobilized population and we celebrate it. It's always encouraging to see people in motion. Resist. Resistance. I saw the signs at the Women's March. I hear the words being uttered by everyone from Madonna to Chuck Schumer. Resist. So we know that there are communities out there all over the city and the country who have been in motion, who have been protesting, who have been resisting for too many years. Resistance is an everyday occurrence. Tonight we will meet a group of awardees who personify resistance. They resist when it's unpopular. They resist when no one else does. They lay the groundwork for moments like these. Moments when the shit that has been hitting the fan for years suddenly becomes more apparent to the body politic. So we look to their leadership we fight alongside them. Without Arab American Action Network, AAAN, you probably wouldn't have... That's right. You probably wouldn't have been able to mobilize so quickly to get to the airport to protest the disgusting attempt at a travel ban. Without Miriam Kaba and Project Nia, The courts would have swallowed more and more young black and brown people with little chance of the creation of restorative justice programs. And without organized communities against deportation, OCAD. Okay. 
The daily disappearance of brown and black people into detention would be a horrifying secret conducted in the shadows, in the corners of isolated communities. Resistance is what we're about at Crossroads Fund. Resisting is what we support. And tonight we celebrate it, take joy in it, and doubly commit to acts of resistance, not just for the next four years, but until we see the freedom and equality and dignity that we deserve in our lives and our communities. So this is not a Trump thing. This isn't just happening this year. For 35 years, Crossroads Fund and our grantees have been resisting. We've been changing the playing field. We've been building the grassroots networks. We've been helping to grow leaders all over the city. And tonight is a celebration of all of that. I hear the big change music. Okay. <laughs> you heard the big change mu music. You know we're in for some big change here, right? Okay, we have some good news to report for, from all of us at the Crossroads Fund. We're excited to announce, last year we talked about our big change endowment campaign, and we're really excited to announce that we are well on the road to success for that campaign. Our goal for the campaign is $2 million. And we have collected over $1.8 million. And that's in, that's in cash money. So we're, we're, we're in the home stretch. Now, now, you may say, wow, Crossroads Fund has $2 million. Why am I here giving the money tonight? But I want to say two things about that. One. It takes a lot of money to fund racial, social, and economic justice folks in communities doing the work. They need to be funded at a level that they should be funded at, okay? <laughs> but let's be clear, let's be clear. Our $2 million endowment is tiny, tiny, teeny, tiny in comparison to some of our foundation colleagues around town. So just for example, by way of example, um, the MacArthur Foundation's endowment is $6.2 billion. So there's like a B instead of an, an M, okay? <laughs> the Chicago Community Trust is $2.28 billion. There's a B, 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 B instead of M, okay? And our collaborators, co-conspirators, and you know, fellow travelers over at the Woods Fund they have, they have around $64 million in endowment. So we thought it was reasonable at the Crossroads Fund to create a small cushion to take us through the next 35 years. Um, <laughs> because being able to fund the resistance for 35 years would be a good move. So um, let me tell you what the cushion's gonna help us with. It's gonna help us to give multi-year grants it's going to help us to fund special initiatives. It's going to help us to take even greater risks in our grant making and to be around for the long haul. And that's why we decided to do it, OK? We like to think of the big change endowment as the people's endowment, OK? It's, it's made up of a lot of gifts, a lot of gifts, like lots of $100 gifts, lots of $1,000 gifts, and even some $100,000 gifts. I know, pretty fancy, right? So we see ourselves at Crossroads Fund as the little engine that could. I, th I think I can, I think I can. And the, and the big change endowment is helping us to get there to support resistance every day. Tonight you're supporting our work and be, by being at the celebration, some of you are giving annual gifts, which is fantastic and we, we, we 
need those, we applaud those, we thank you for those. And in the months ahead, you're going to be hearing about how you might be able to help us support the, the last drive for the $2 million of our Big Change campaign. So watch your mailboxes, watch your emails, and we hope you can help. Um, thank you for supporting our work. And thanks for being here tonight, and uh, on with the show. <laughs>